Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Wednesday. Now, I'm just going to go on and say this right now. I know why you got your glasses on. Why? Because you're headed out of town tomorrow. You're going to the bright lights in big city of Vegas, and it's already got you just like Almost. Almost. But that's not it. Oh, man. What is it? I'm embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed? I'm that guy, right? I'm that guy that... You are the guy. Leaves notes yep. and stuff and yep. flowers. You are. Well, on Monday, I scheduled my flower delivery. As of 8.57, they still ain't there. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Supposed to be there by 3 o'clock yesterday. Sent a deal, I said, oh, had to work, she had to work till 6, I went. She went, what are you doing? I said, oh, just working on the website, blah, blah, blah. Good job, by the way. I said, and I'm getting pissed off by the minute. Okay. And she went, about what? I said, I can't tell you till 6. <laughs> I was just, <clears throat> Well, at 6 o'clock. Did you call them? Not yet. Okay. I'm going to let them deliver them, then call them. Right, 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 right. So, I sent the confirmation with the picture. <laughs> I went, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and just so happens, her friend from next door goes, where's your pretty flowers? So, they came into her house? No. I've sent flowers through our, you know, a couple times right, during right, our... Right. Your uh, courtship. Courtship. Okay. <clears throat> and I think it was a little jab of, where's your flowers at today? Oh, that's funny, though. She sent her that deal. <laughs> that, they're in transit. So Whatever still transit is. Haven't anyway. got it. Huh? <clears throat> still, still has haven't. not got it. Okay, so what do you do? Me? You get your money back. You cancel your flower. What what happens? At I'm gonna point? see if they deliver them today. I, I know they were busy, but still, you look like an idiot. Well, and I did them early. You did All them right? on Monday. So I'm gonna let them deliver them, and then I'm gonna call and go, "Hey, these are Valentine's flowers. They'll probably give me a voucher for something free or whatever." But I won't be that. I won't be that. I'm going to cuss you out and do all that because you can't. I get it. Sorry for you people, but I'm not going to be that dick. Right. I'm never that dick. I'm with you 100%. I may not use them again. Right. But you I'm have... not going to go. I called so-and-so and whatever picked up the phone and t promised me they'd be there by oh, this time. A... Blah, blah, blah. I would never do we that. We got a buddy that do that. No. Yeah. <clears throat> I am with you 100% on that. I would not either. You know it's a busy day. You know you're probably not the only one. Here, I, every other flower that's been delivered has been by them. So for me, a one-time snafu up. doesn't make me not use them again. Okay, let's go right into that. And before we get out of that, my $100 gift, right on time. Day early. I figured I was, oh. We have a business. We have Red Sea TV, and we have the backyard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And leading into being a dick, if we go, which we've been before out of town to different restaurants, and you go, and it's a, a busy day, and I know sometimes something happens, what makes you go on that Yelp review? And these reviews, and we get these from the backyard, not really the Red Sea, but had a great time, so and so so, but I didn't like this. My service was, it took too long. And you know it's busy. Now, I know some of it's our fault with our. The employees. only, only, only time I would do that is if someone was absolutely rude to me. Right. I understand a wait. I agree. But a lot of times when you're waiting, you've done it. I think I've been here, I've been waiting on it, I've been waiting an hour. Oh, it's been nine minutes. Uh, <laughs> we've all done it. I agree. And I get it. But on our iPad service that texts out the number, it says the wait time. I know. But why are people dicks? Why is it that... And I'll give you a perfect example. One time, Barry went around talking to everybody, talked to the lady, and she <clears> still... <throat> after oh, this, they won't, they won't look you in the eye and go, I didn't like your... I didn't like... That's when I You're feel certain. like you should have, we should have Brian send back that. And Brian does the best job. We respond to every bad review. 
We ask them what's the matter, try to fix it. Tell you what I do. I took some time yesterday. I throw a rock And out. went on Yelp. Right. And read a couple of them. What you should do is if you see a bad review, and I don't care what it is. Right. Click on that person's name and find their other reviews. And see if I will promise you they're a dick every There's day. no good reviews by these people. And I proved it to myself yesterday. Got it? I saw your eyes. Go you? ahead and ask. Right. I'm waiting on it. No, you. finish your story. That's, I, that's it. I just clicked on the name, and if it comes back with other bad comments, you know. It's with a grain of salt. Right. If it's, I love this place, I love this place, I love this place, their burgers were undercooked, uh, whatever. And I'm talking about another place in town, not us. But if I see that, then I go, hmm, I might need to listen to this person because right. they haven't just done bad reviews. Right. Go ahead. <clears throat> I am, I pay attention. I feel like I can notice when my best friend changes his hair, changes his clothes, Stephanie does her stuff. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That is your ring. That is illegal to wear that before. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get arrested. The I, conversation came up was going to Vegas. I went, I'd like to wear my ring to Vegas. She said, I wish you'd wear it every day. And I went, I can't do that. I said, I can't do that. It's supposed to be traditional. And did y'all sneak off and get married? No, I, we did not. I wish. Why are you wearing that already? I, I don't want to listen to it. So I'm saying it now. It I'm wearing that. this to keep the prostitutes off of me in Vegas. It won't help. We already <laughs> know that. But I will say this it is a nice looking ring. It's a tungsten, and she spent a bunch of money on it. I told him to get this $19. And you know now? It's Would a little you? heavy, so if you see me walking <laughs> like this for a little while, I hadn't got used to it. He's not He's not going back to his pimp ways, his gangster ways. Yeah, right? I'm not leaning. But Ooh, it's hot in here. when you do do this, when you do, when that, like you're working or something. Oh, yeah. yeah they yeah. got these at Academy now. Really? So you don't even have to do it. Yeah, I saw them at Academy. And I'm going to say. They are really good. And, I, it, it, you know, Stephanie isn't this way. Most people aren't this way, but. Uh, I would make sure and have it on. I would make sure and replace it with that if, because these are the ones that shatter. Yeah, you don't. Like if it gets hit, it can shatter. Yeah, yeah it does have insurance. Will be replaced, but yeah. you know I, I'm gonna have one of those for. These are just for working deals, so you don't. It just, then why do you wear? It? Just well, I work out. Oh, I'm so I take that back. <laughs> I wear it for working out. <laughs> working. Good call. Good call. You Not do have work in there. I, you know that ring that my dad gave me? It used no. to get flat. Yeah. You know, the gold would, would just, yeah. it would, yeah. and I'd have to take it and get it redone, take it, get it redone. But I'm going to shout out to K-Boy. Thank you, K-Boy, for going on Amazon Prime, watching The Killing, and reviewing it. And I know we're sticking on that, but... That is our, and I wanted to explain because somebody asked me, "What do you, what, why are you pushing Amazon Prime so much?" We now have spent money on Fox Television. Did Cowboy and Lucky? Did great here. We did in the theaters. theaters. We put every one of our wounded Cowboy and Lucky, Liver and I, in premier cinemas. Cost us money. We tried to sell DVDs in Hastings. They price probably rather they closed down. Uh, we couldn't keep up the demand. We've tried to be in <laughs> HEB. We've talked to Walmart. We've been in 7-Elevens. It's 7-Eleven. Uh, We've been in the Game Time, GameStop, or whatever uh, in the mall. But it all costs money in making DVDs. And now Amazon Prime, us partnering up with them as a small independent studio, has allowed us to put our stuff up there and people with Prime watch it free. 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 And they just released, they're going over into Europe. There's 300, almost 300 members now on Amazon Prime because people shop on it. That's how I found out. 300,000 me, 300, or something. Not 300. How many? They have 287 million subscribers on Amazon Prime. And they're okay. just released. There's only 300 over. million in the U.S. I know. So worldwide. How many people are worldwide? 7 billion. 7 billion. So 
Man. They, they just released into Europe, which means they're expecting, if you read the deal, over 600 million members by the end of 2018. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. So with us continuing to make more movies, and where I want to get to this is, you guys are movie folks. We have a, a deal we're trying to do. Are some movies too long? Are some movies too long that you go, God dang, if they'd have just cut to the chase, I'd have been... Some are too long, some are too short, in my opinion. Okay. What we want to try to do, and I want your honest opinion, is being able to watch it on your phone or your computer or on your smart TV. We want to try to trim a little bit of that fat off of seeing you drive around for 30 minutes and getting right to the meat of the story and trying to give you an hour story that when you sit down, you're glued to that phone or that laptop or that computer or that phone for 60 minutes to where you go, oh, God dang, I, got, I know exactly what happened and, I, and I'm ready to finish. Uh, you know I like the idea because I fired it out a couple different times. But I then also worry about the, the traditionalists that like the full movie. But, but can we be a can we be a new a new age? You know, like Robert Rodriguez, shoot, direct, edit, Quentin Tarantino. Oh, it's, it's no different than an hour episode of a show. I get my fix on watching an hour episode yeah. of Revenge. Yeah, you know what I mean. Luckily, I get to watch another one, and another one, right, and right. another on one if I like it. I agree. But I I do like that idea of just. Bam, we bam, want bam. your opinion. <clears throat> we got a meeting this afternoon. We're talking about trimming the fat. Giving you the meat of the story, middle, beginning, and ending, but just crunching it in there, sixty to eighty minutes, so we can make more different genres. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay, that's what we want. So, just like the news, they keep you waiting till the end to see the good stuff. The sports. So I got Cody Canada shirt on today, and of course he's going to be back. He's been there two other times. Right. Well, today at 10.30, whether you're watching it before or after, we are announcing somebody new. What? And then Monday, we are announcing even a bigger new name. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the name that is being released at 10.30. Y'all ready for this? I am Drum roll, please. <laughs> Mr. Kevin Fowler. Hey. April 28th. He is a almost a staple of the community as often as he plays here and we are proud to present it'll be his first time at the backyard his first time at the backyard i went and saw him him cody johnson and kyle park at extra co uh, to the meet and greet and went man i sure would like to have you down at the backyard and he went pat green was there last week sold it out huh so the word man. the word is already around with all those guys, and he will be there. And then Monday, I think this next one will blow your socks off. I think Monday will blow your socks off that this band. Where's the deal? You won't be here. going to be here. You won't be here Monday. Me and Hoke are doing the show. So where can they go to find this information out? Uh, the backyard page. Okay. Go the ahead. backyard page. Backyard page. Kevin Fowler coming to the backyard. Let me, go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and turn my phone off for all you people texting. I don't have tickets. So, <laughs> I, I don't have tickets. I'm sorry. So, as Brian says, our phones do not work during that week. Mine don't work right now. What is that? Is that you? That's Gracie licking. All right, man, we're going to get out of here and uh, have watch, like, share, and look at this. You've seen it the whole time. We're going with a pork chop today with mashed potatoes and vegetables for $9. And you know there's no tax on that. Yeah. It is $9. We pay the tax for you. Woo. Some of the things we do. Your logo goes here. It starts the first of the month. So Mr. Aaron Bird, Chris Goss, uh, Kevin and them. Kevin and them, CTCISMB, and uh, Tony down at Elysium Cryo Gym and Therapy. Bam, we, we're finding you Monday. Anybody else, holler at us. Till tomorrow. I am Russ. This is Chris. Be sure you go with the right hand because I don't know if you're strong okay. enough to get the left hand up there. We are 